Howdy all, Mortal Lax Lives. I think it's time to play a little Seven Days to Die. Alright, let's see. I honestly don't remember where I left off. <laughs> oh, we're cooking up a little bit of a little bit of iron here. Oh, that's gonna take a couple of ooh, I got 16 <laughs> ingots of iron ready to go. We'll probably just go ahead and head out once uh once this gets finished cooking. Uh, see what I've got going in my fire here. Yeah, I think we've got I think we got plenty of room in here for all this stuff, so um Oh man, I think I lost my auger. Dang it. Where the heck did I leave that thing? Who knows? Alright, you're gonna take a couple more minutes yet. We'll uh we'll go ahead and take a look around up on the hill here and see what we can see. Thanks, Bush, for getting in my way. So I finally uh well not finally I guess. I uh watched uh last week's not the one from Sunday but from Sunday before um, Walking Dead I completely forgot the show had even restarted <laughs> I watched the season premiere like the day after and then waited a week and a half to watch the second episode I don't know uh, well not a week and a half I guess but half a week anyways and uh, it uh it was a good one. I really like the ones where they're getting to their wits end. Uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of times they get caught up in the moment and they'll, uh, uh, you know, they won't have a choice but to respond to what's going on around them. But uh, every once in a while you get these really awesome episodes where... Uh, they're half starved, out of water, uh, don't know what to do, don't know where to go, uh, just about ready to give up kind of thing. And uh, so that's what this this episode was. I think most of it didn't even have dialogue. For <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, I swear I heard a zombie. I can hear a zombie. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I wasn't sure what was going on there. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was really good. They, uh, crack. Uh, mostly they're just trying to deal with the fallout of, uh, the midwinter finale. And then the, uh, I don't know what you call it, winter, midwinter premiere. Um, I mean, they, uh, you know, lost a couple of major people. Uh, and <laughs> they're so out of supplies, and there's no water, and, um, you know, it's... They're at their wits' end. Uh, okay, where's my stuff? I'm hoping this is all oh, right here. Awesome. You give me that. I'll take this. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need. I just said I don't need that. I don't know why you. Oh, because I'm hitting the wrong button. That's why. Sorry, it was my fault. I'm gonna keep the coal with me, though. I guess. 
I don't have any sticks on me. That's not going to be even helpful. Um. Yeah, I think that makes me ready to go. And hopefully we can remember to lay down a bedroll next place I come to. Instead of getting killed because the, uh... <laughs> my recording software decides it can't take a snapshot. Woo. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh... I don't know, it was just all... emotions this time. There wasn't really any major event that took place, um... Uh, not that I can remember anyways, they, uh, uh... It was really just... Cathartic. Uh, I guess. Is that the right word? Cathartic? I want to say it is. I could be wrong. Um, I wish I could remember people's names. I'm horrible with names. Uh, unless you're a major character who's name is mentioned every episode. I probably can't remember your name, but uh, the one the one woman on there uh, like they're staggering along at the beginning of the episode and they barely have the energy to walk at uh, they're out of water, they're out of food they haven't found any supplies and uh, the uh the one woman is just still furious over uh, the guy getting killed in the first episode of the second half of the season here. And she's not dealing with it well. And everybody else is like, you gotta let it go. And uh, so they, they got to a point where the zombies were following them. And she turns to Michonne and uh, she tells Michonne, we could take him. And Michelle's like, just leave him be. And uh, uh, and so the longer they walk, the bigger the the group of zombies. But the they're walking faster than the zombies, and so they're slowly outpacing them. Because uh, even the zombies are dehydrated and out of water. <laughs> and uh, you know, and so. She's like, well, I'll take him then. And uh, so they argued for a little bit there about how she needs to stay with the the group and ignore the zombies. And they, uh... I don't think I've ever seen a pair of goggles before. I thought I heard something coming at me. <laughs> uh, that's funny. They don't change my vision at all, but... I think... I want to say we've seen sunglasses before. Way back when the game first started, but I haven't seen a pair in forever. I also find it's weird that you put a bandana over your mouth and nose, because... Uh, usually that's, uh... I mean, I don't know what it's for. It's not dusty. Uh, it's not... I mean, I guess when you get out in the ash areas, but dust isn't a thing that affects us yet. Yet. Uh, that might be kind of cool, though. And it's some dust clouds in the ashy areas where, like, the cities are burnt down. Slow your character down due to coughing. Have to call one of those... 1-800 numbers because you got mesotheliomia. Mesothelioma. I don't know if you guys ever see those commercials on television. I see them all the time. If you've been exposed to asbestos... I have no idea. I hope I haven't been. I also don't want mesotheliomia. Mesothelioma. I don't want. I don't want to say that. Omia. Hmm. 
But uh, they, uh, yeah, they had zombies. I don't know if the zombies came in front of them or were still following them. I kind of missed that point because I usually am playing video games while I'm uh, watching television. Oh, I missed. It's really rare for me to watch television without playing a video game at the same time. Uh, and uh, so I missed if the zombies were coming from behind them or in front of them, but they stopped at a steep, uh, really steep uh, area of the road, and uh, the, the people did. And so uh, when the zombies would come for them, they would just kind of step out of the way and when the zombie, you know, grab, um, step out of the way, and their momentum would carry them over the edge, down the cliff. <laughs> and so that's what they're doing. They're just standing there, and every time a zombie grabs for them, they just kind of sidestep it and give them a little shove over the cliff to save their energy, because they didn't have the energy to fight, because they don't have any water, and they don't have any food. Um, and uh, uh, that woman, of course, is furious, and... She opts to attack the zombies, which drives the zombies into a blood rage, I guess. And so they become a little more agitated, and so they have to fight them instead of just shoving them away. And uh, so then they're really tired. Uh, there's a great scene in there where... Um, uh, Daryl, Daryl uh, digs up an earthworm and eats it. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's how little food they got. Um, but yeah, really, really good, good episode. I really like the. Uh, uh, I really like that kind of episode. I mean, I, I love the episodes where stuff's going on too, but. I, I really like a good character building story and uh, you know it's a great character building episode um, speaking of television I saw that mm, oh man I don't remember which station's getting it I want to see the CW. Or... Man. Oh, crap. That was my fault. I want to eat. Uh, one of the stations is going to be getting eye zombie. Uh, which is comic book about zombies. Uh, let's eat it. Uh, bacon and eggs, I think. And, uh, so it's being turned into a tele- or it's been turned into a television show at this point. And so, uh, it premieres here pretty quick. Um, so that should be cool. Uh, I used to read I Zombie a little bit. Not... Not very many months, but I checked it out. It seemed okay. Um, I want to say it's about a... It's about a woman who got turned into a zombie. And she works in a morgue. And solves crimes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what the comic was about. I don't know. I used to read a lot of uh, comics every week, and then I stopped and started making videos instead. Um, and I still read like the DC comics, but I stopped reading the Vertigo comics because um, I used to read like I Vampire and I Zombie uh, or American Vampire. Is it American Vampire? Um, they were okay. They weren't really my cup of tea, so I kind of stopped reading them. Now well, I see, uh, I see rebooting my computer. Or no, I didn't reboot, did I? Um, my computer has been laggy all day today. I don't know what is going on with it. It's driving me crazy. 
Must be some kind of stupid program wants to update. That's usually what's happening. Uh, but it sure is having fits. Uh, yep. Ooh, I love it when I get a single, single blow kill. Uh, but so that's a, that's something I'm looking forward to on a zombie. I don't know though. It's it's no Walking Dead. There's a dead pig in the road. Did you kill that pig? Now I'm gonna kill you, and then I'm gonna take your pig. Listening for zombies. Nope. All right. Well, we appear to have traversed the whatever that terrain is. Get into a little uh, forested mountain here. I was hoping to find some buildings we could search through, but I haven't seen anything. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of comic book stuff coming out. Uh, like... I know CW's got at least a couple of shows. If if I Zombie is not theirs, I'm pretty sure it is though. Then it's the Sci-Fi Channel. Um, Sci-Fi Channel's supposed to have a couple of new shows based on comic books coming out. Uh, CW's getting a couple of them. Uh, NBC had Constantine, but I'm pretty sure that's been canceled. Um, well, let's be honest, it wasn't as good as it should have been, anyways. They didn't. They didn't get the heart of Constantine into it. Uh, he was a little too polished and not self-hating enough. Because <laughs> uh, that's that's really the root of Constantine is that Constantine loves himself a lot, and. He will do anything, anything to keep himself alive. Um, but he feels extreme self-loathing for the things he's done to keep himself alive also. Not that that stops him from doing the things he needs to keep himself alive, but uh, he's also willing to take extreme risks uh, to, uh, try and save other people to balance what he's done. Uh, and, uh, I've read a lot of Constantine, and I think we talked about this last episode, or two episodes ago. Uh, I've read all of the Constantine comics, and I've read most of the Hellblazer comics. I own them, I have a tendency to um, I have a tendency to get comics that I collect, but I never read them. I just have them shipped to me. <laughs> I, uh, I've told this story before, but um, when I was in high school, I got into Spawn, and uh, no, it must have been right after high school. I got into the Spawn comics, and... Uh, well, more so the Spawn animated series that got canceled because parents were upset because of how adult content it was, even though it showed at midnight on HBO on Fridays. And apparently that was that was too early in the day for. I mean, I it would it would. I guess if West Coast people have access to East Coast HBO, it would have been at 9 p.m. But still, it's HBO shows R-rated stuff, so or even worse. So I don't understand why Midnight, even if it is animated, uh, but they attacked it and got it pulled off the air. And it was an awesome, awesome adaptation of Spawn. It wasn't the same thing as the comics. Uh, it had its own storyline, but its storyline was awesome. Uh, and, uh, I'm really sad it only lasted, like, three seasons. 
and the third season started this whole epic new storyline. And we never get to see the end of it, because... That's right, parents don't control their children, and they ruin everything for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, they ruined Spawn anyways. I don't know. I get really irritated by, uh... By things like, uh... Parents... Saying that violence needs to be removed from video games because their child is playing M-rated video games and uh, they don't like the content in it. Um, of course, the trick being that it's already been rated M for adults and you bought the game for your child. And then they say things like, well, even if I didn't buy it for my child, he'd still play it over at his friend's house. Well, then shouldn't you take that up with your friend's hit the, your child's friend's parents and let them know your child is not allowed to play that video game when they're over there. Uh, I don't know why that means I shouldn't get to play the video game. Anyways. <laughs> um, but so I got into Spawn back, uh, back then and um, I really started collecting the Spawn figures. I still have all my Spawn figures. I took them out of the package though. Uh, I had shelves in my bedroom, and I stood them up on shelves. Um, but uh, I collected, like, the first four or five series of Spawn figures. And, uh... Oh, I swung way too early. What is going on with my swing there? Thank you. I'm trying to get myself killed, I think. And, uh, so my brother, he, uh, he bought, he bought the Spawn comics at a garage sale, I want to say. Um, or maybe got them off eBay. But he bought, like... Oh, that's leather. Leather. That is not... Claw fragments. I gotta kill this guy before I can build this thing. And, uh... So he had, like, the first... 60 comics, I would guess. And... Then he stopped, stopped getting them, and um, so then later I decided, hey, I would like to uh, read the Spawn comics, and since he had like the first 60 or 80, uh, I could just take his, because he wasn't using them. He'd moved out of the house, gotten married maybe at that point. Yeah, he was married, uh, living in his second or third home, had left a ton of stuff at uh, my house when he moved out, and uh, it included those Spawn comics. And so uh, I said, uh, hey, what are you going to do with these Spawn comics you still got over here? And he's like, oh, I don't want those. And uh, so I said, well, I'll take them. And uh, I'll get them, I want to get them up to date, because I want to read the the story uh, and pick back up on Spawn. He's like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. Why don't you go ahead and do that, and then when you get them all up to date, you can give them back to me. And I'm like, what? And he's like, well, yeah, if you're going to get them up to date, then I'm going to want them back. I'm like, I'm not going to buy comics for your comic book collection. And uh, he's like, well, I guess I'll just sell them to somebody else then. And, uh, so he took them, even though they had been there for five, ten years. Uh, and, uh, so I went on eBay and I found a, I found another set that had a bunch of internet covers and stuff like that, all the miniseries. Um, bought that for a couple hundred bucks. And, uh, yeah, so I've been collecting the Spawn series. I have the entire entire Spawn series, um, even though I've only read it up to, like, 
issue 120 or something. I think they're in the 250s at this point. So I'm a bit behind. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, and then you know what he did? This is the great part. He took those comics and he set them... Took them out of his truck and set them on the floor in his garage. And there they sat until they were ruined. Just on the floor of his garage. Um, they got water damaged. <gasps> no! <laughs> Where'd that guy even come from? Great! Now I'm poisoned. Not poisoned. I am infected. Now I'm dead. So now I'm not infected. But that's okay. I'm respawn right here. I'm blaming my laggy computer today. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's driving me crazy. It's not overheating or anything, so I don't know what it's doing. Making me angry. That's what it's doing. Alright, let's get our stuff back. No. Can't have me. Where's my club? Oh man, my club needs work. Uh, what is it? Pipes? I'll shoot you in the face. Told ya. we shoot you in the face. Told ya. Face. I think I'm joking. Alright, I might not shoot you in the face. Yep. Totally missed. Oh, crap. Gonna shoot... Ah, I gotcha. Shock of shocks. right. Alright, uh, spike the club. Seven seconds to repair. And then we'll be ready to start smashing zombies again. Quick, he's coming. Uh, did you... Okay. Oh yeah, I thought I had some, I just didn't see them. They were down in the corner there. Uh, did I drop those? I think I did. Yep, they dropped on the ground. That must be what happened in my auger. You're dead. Oh, man, so many zombies. You're dead. Oop. I miss. Um. <laughs> yeah, I just I don't know. Such a waste too. I mean, I guess taking my figures out of the package is a waste too. But I still have a bunch still in the package. I just keep them in storage. One of these days. They won't be worth anything, and uh, I'll never sell them. So, yeah, they just take up space in the storage room. Uh, the comments, though, one of these days I will get around to putting up that second bookshelf I have planned, <laughs> uh, and I will get my comics sorted out on a bookshelf instead of in boxes on the floor in a cool, dry place, mind you, not on the floor of the garage, so that they go bad. Uh, oop, that's not my pickaxe, dang it. Or that is my pickaxe. Swing, lady, swing! Uh, 
Um, I also collect, like, uh, all the Dark Tower series, because I really like the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. And I also get... Uh, there's this awesome comic. It's like the best comic I've ever read. Uh, called Danger Club. And uh, they've had a lot of issues getting the comics themselves done and out. And so I think we're going on like... Dang it. I'm going to die because I just got slapped in the face. Quick, 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 quick. Bench yourself up. Bench, 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 bench. It's this lag. It's killing me. Literally. Oh, man, will you go down? There we go. Um, but it's absolutely awesome. If I can get this guy killed, we can finish this episode off. And it's about, uh... Something in space was coming. And so all the superheroes... Uh... All the superheroes left. <sighs> Lady, we don't have time for this. They're coming. Exhausted anyways, all we did was walk around a corner. What's wrong with your stamina? Uh, but, uh, yeah, so something's coming from outer space, and all the superheroes went out to meet it and got killed. At least that's what we've been led to believe. And, uh, so there's this really epic story that takes place with uh, the sidekicks who have all been are you kidding me? what is wrong with you? something's wrong with my character she has no stamina at all and uh oh jeez there's another door to bust open over here And, uh, oh no, there isn't another door. I thought there was another door, it's just under the stairs. Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing good, man. I almost died for nothing good. And so we're, uh, we're right at the end of that. You know what, I'm gonna use this first aid kit instead. We're right at the end of the series. It's only gonna be like seven or eight comics. <laughs> oh, look, the first aid kit bumps you right back up to health. Oh, see, that's genius. Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call it here then. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you like comics, check out Danger Club. It's amazing. Um, I don't know how... Well, they've got, they've got like, uh, collected volumes and reprints, I'm sure, but one of the best superhero comic books I've ever read. It's not for uh, kids, though. It is definitely for mature readers. It's uh, got a pretty hefty storyline, and it's pretty violent. Uh, but it was awesome. And I'm going to be sad when it gets over. Alright, click like if you like, subscribe, be sure to catch the next one, and I... Oh, crap. We'll talk to you... <sighs> Later.